Uh, Jeff, good to see you. Good to see so, you too, my friend. as an entrepreneur, um, you know, you often feel like you can accomplish anything because you wouldn't go out on your own to do that, right? So, I'm sure you have a great deal of confidence in your own abilities. But the reality is that none of us, um, we all have our own strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, the best leaders, the best entrepreneurs, you know, know their strengths, know their weaknesses, and they essentially you know, find people who compliment them and build around, build a team around them. So my first question is a more traditional question. What do you see as some of your biggest strengths, but more importantly, your biggest weaknesses? Uh, and then follow that up with, you know, based upon where you see, you know, your weaknesses, what do you need most to support you to be successful? So I think my biggest strength historically is um, I jump out of bed in the morning. I am very enthusiastic and I love people. I hug people all day long. And uh, a lot of the problems that you have, it, they're in so, to some extent we sabotage ourselves. Maybe we get a little down or a little frustrated. And I found I can bring people up and get results and help people achieve things they never thought they could achieve. And in the same token, I have management discipline to stay on course. The weakness part is I'm incredibly impatient. And this is a job that requires a lot of patience. Um, I also, I can do detailed managerial jobs, but I prefer to lead the managers um, who can do the performance reviews, make sure the trash is picked up. And so um, I tend to, to really like number two people that get excited about my vision but are good at the day-to-day -day blocking and tackling and keep me informed come to me when they need help, when they get stuck. I mean, that's, that's how I thrive. I hate repetition, but repetition's necessary to run something like this city. And so I tend to build people around me that aren't comfortable in my space of innovation and, and dreaming of a better way and are comfortable executing what I've dreamt of. So in follow-up, I mean, one of the things that I think about you know, growth and development is when you have the ability to kind of be managed up, right? So oftentimes you've been in a leadership position, but I think you grow when you're comfortable um, with your team and those people in that position, giving you constructive feedback and, ma and managing up for you. Could you point out an instance where someone on your team, you know, you felt like you learned something from them and, and you know, could you point out something specific to that? Yeah, um, let me say um, listening and feedback is so critical to success. And you know, I'm in a business that if any one of my employees make a mistake, if it rains, if it snows, if there's bird flu, I get blamed for everything. And if you saw the amount of feedback I get a day, you would think it's inhuman. Um, and I love it. I take it and I manage to, to solve people's problems. And so uh, I'm not thin skinned, I get a lot of feedback. And one of the things that I have found really enhances my performance is when I let people manage up. And um, you, you will find that, that the people that work for me have no problem telling me that I'm wrong. And I hear it a lot and we discuss it. And a lot of times when I listen to the discussion, it comes clear to me that they're right or clear to me that they're thinking small and I need to push them. And I think that is one of the skills of a high performing leader to spend the time to listen and not take it personally and try to get to the best answer. And I think, I think that's a strength of mine. So if you want an example, there, there are so many on a day-to-day -day basis, but you're right, I'm an entrepreneur. I tend to think I could do anything. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I, in the grocery business, my chief operating officer, every conversation starts out the same way. I, someone calls me and says, fix this problem. I'm like, we can fix this problem. And he goes, well, hold it a second, the labor, the capital, the this, the that. And, and we hash it out. And probably 25% of my ideas we go forward with, and 75% he convinced me that it's not possible. And, and I'm good with that. 